in the car right now. Um, basically, at work, driving and shit. My job requires me to always be in cars, so yeah, I'm driving right now. Um, what I want to do right now is talk about uh, Gerald McCoy, man. Gerald McCoy. Now, there's a lot of shit going on right now with Gerald McCoy. Um, I think he, I think he wants out of Tampa Bay, and Tampa Bay also wants to get rid of him. So it's like a mutual thing. It's not like a he's being held up. It's not like a mutual thing. Um, he didn't report to uh. The voluntary, you know, workouts and shit. Even though it's voluntary, people, a lot of people make a, a big deal about the voluntary workouts. So, um, yeah, he skipped those. Um, and basically, it was reported, uh, I think, I believe yesterday, that he's on the trade block. So, <laughs> now, Eagles fans, I don't know what Eagles fan would sit here and tell me they wouldn't want this man. No. If you were to sit there and tell me that you don't want this guy, then, you know, either, I, I mean, I don't know, man. You, you, you gotta, you gotta make your team better, you know? You gotta do it in any type of way, shape, form, fashion, and function that you can. Trading for Gerald McCoy would be just as good as when we traded for Timmy Jernigan and won the Super Bowl with him. Trading for Gerald McCoy would be just as good as trading for Jay Ajayi and winning the Super Bowl with him. Trading for Gerald McCoy is a Super Bowl type of move. Excuse me. Trading for Deshaun Jackson wasn't a Super Bowl move. Trading for Malik Jackson wasn't a Super Bowl move. That's, that's, come on, G. What, I mean, what the fuck are you doing? God damn. How the fuck you gonna drive for Lyft and you can't even fucking drive? That's why you got a fucking boot on the fucking front of your shit now, dumbass bitch. Anyway, <laughs> trading for those two players were not Super Bowl moves. Well, maybe Deshaun Jackson was, okay. Malik Jackson, no. That was strictly depth. <sighs> trading for Gerald McCoy would be so much bigger and better just for this franchise. First of all, if we were to trade for Gerald McCoy, we would not have to draft a defensive lineman in the first round. I feel like if we traded for Gerald McCoy, we would nine times out of ten draft an offensive lineman in the first round. Now, if somebody slips to us, then I can see them going defensive lineman. But if we were to trade for Gerald McCoy, I really don't see them going defensive lineman first round. Now, second round, yes. One of those second round picks, yes. First round, hell no. I would just throw that shit completely out of the window. Now, the real question is, what would we have to give the Bucks for Gerald McCoy? Now, right now we're talking about a, what? I think it's like 29, maybe 30. So, you know, on the back end of his prime for defensive tackle, um, on the back end of his prime, what would we have to give up, you know? And at one point in time, you know, this man was probably the best defensive tackle in the league. There was a time about four years ago, Gerald McCoy, before Aaron Donald really became, you know, the Aaron Donald of the day and before Fletcher Cox was the Fletcher Cox of today, four or five years ago, Gerald McCoy was the shit. He was the best fucking defensive tackle in the goddamn league. So you bring him here and put him next to Fletcher Cox. Oh, my God. You understand what impact that shit would make? I feel I would like Gerald. I would want to trade for Gerald McCoy more than I would want to sign Ndamukong Sue. Put it like that. Because I've been hearing a lot of people talk about Ndamukong Sue. Ndamukong Sue is really good. But, 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 but. I feel like Gerald McCoy is better. And even though he didn't cause problems in L.A., at the same time, he still is an Indominican Zoo. He's still an Indominican Zoo. You see what I'm saying? He's still that same person, you know? You didn't really hear anything about him in L.A., but he's still that same fucking guy. Now, then again, he did say, what was he, two years ago? The, the, the year we won the Super Bowl. That offseason, he said that he would come play for us for free. For free? Shit. Let me tell you something, bitch. I'll take your big ass talents for free. For free? Shit. Man. 
look, that's besides the point. I feel like we should trade for Gerald McCoy. Um, what do y'all think we should do, man? Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Tell me what y'all think we should do. I think we should just go ahead and do it. Do the shit. The Bucks don't want him. He don't want to be there. The man needs to win something before he fucking leaves, bro. I don't even think the man's been to the fucking playoffs before. Like honestly, I don't think I don't think he's been to the playoffs. He needs to win something. I'll give up a fourth, uh, two fourths. I mean, what what the fuck could they want? You know, like they can't want a second. They can't want a third. Like it's got to be at least a fourth. We have two fourths. Two, Howie. A fourth round pick. Come on, G, for Gerald McCoy, just get that shit to him. But look, it's your boy Deagle checking in, checking out, man. Um, y'all leave y'all comments down below. Um, I'm gonna get back to work, keep on driving down this road, and uh, yeah, y'all take it easy.